it, it's been really interesting being able to, to have a lot of fun and also deal with a lot of the heavy weights in a good way, creatively. This job has been the perfect job. What I do is I allow Sear Junda to come to life by my body, my flesh, my heart, my soul. I choose to take from my own life experience. I'm an actor, first and foremost. And when I first started, I won't lie, I was terrible <laughs> at the beginning, but I refused to suck. Okay. And I wanted to learn how to, to be a good voiceover artist. That was my original passion. And that's sort of where I found the key to everything. Performing and telling stories and, and making art is just something that I, I love doing. So the fact that this is actually my job and I sustain myself on it is so fulfilling. I think this is the last step in me finally letting go of all those preconceptions and all those fears of people judging me. Because it's easy to do as an actor, to just go, what do you want me to be? I'll be whatever. Whereas now I, just, I feel much more comfortable in who I am and what I can do and the, my limitations as well. I personally also love it when we're recording Les in like peak sarcasm or peak sassiness. When she says like tieflings, and then the character's like, don't you mean teethlings? And she's like, Ugh. We have to like recenter of like, okay, where are we? What's the physical like proximity of me to the other character I'm talking to? As an actor, that's like, it's really fun. It is difficult to imagine a video game becoming a film successfully, even the best video games. Because if you don't have the story as the core, all of the stuff that was popping up with everyone being so excited that I was a part of it. I mean, I saw this video with all these gamers' reactions of when she came in, and it spans everything from like, oh my gosh, she's a hot character. You know, it's one of the few jobs that I've done that's just, it's so much fun. Like, I always look forward to, you know, we have that opportunity to be creative and be yeah. funny. That's one of the things that I love most about the story and about playing Star-Lord in this game is that you got to connect with each of the main characters throughout the game in various different ways. That's always the goal when you're an actor. You want your work to reach people. You want your work to have an impact. And so the fact that I'm able to have that when I'm still relatively at the beginning of my career, that's a privilege. I feel very, very lucky and grateful. I kept my options open. I'm like, this could turn into something awesome or this could fizzle out. Let's just see what happens. And in the meantime, I was finding a community amongst my fellow actors and voice actors and getting to be a part of Full Metal Alchemist, I think, is really what made uh, the difference. There's definitely been moments like that, uh, moments that you feel like quitting, but I think you have to push past that moment just to see what else is at the end there. Thank you, everybody, for listening and watching Behind the West podcast. Thank you, all the actors who decided to be a part of this podcast and talk about their story. Let's get ready for more in 2024.